This is the plaintiff, Kamika Young. He says he rented a U-Haul truck for the defendant because he felt bad for her kids due to an impending eviction. The defendant promised to return the truck in 24 hours, but ended up keeping the thing three additional days and owes him $3,401.55. Boy, you go and do something nice for someone, and this is what you get? A lawsuit. This is the defendant, Yushamika Williams. She says the truck was unfortunately towed, and it was taking her time to clear things up. Meanwhile, the immature plaintiff posted a picture on his Facebook, claiming she was a thief and a con artist for all to see. Many believed his story. She's been damaged by his false accusations, and if anyone's owed money today, it's certainly not the plaintiff. She's accused of hauling things into a lawsuit. The defendant is filed a countersuit for $5,000 for defamation. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket. The plaintiff rented a U-Haul for the defendant, a U-Haul that was supposed to be returned within 24 hours. Uh, the defendant didn't do it, and he Jack got Carlin stuck with a right. big bill. The defendant says the U-Haul got towed. So what was she supposed to do? It's the case of you oh, haul him into time. court. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. All right, uh, Mr. Young, how is it that you and Ms. Williams know each other? Actually, we just friends of friends. Okay. We're just associates. We, I just know a few people that she know. Basically. Okay, and then one fine day she asked you to rent a U-Haul for her? Technically, she texted me and asked me that. So why wouldn't you say, yeah, sorry, can't help you out if she's I, just friends I, of friends? I, I told her that, but, you know, she just kept resisting, kept asking, kept asking, kept asking. And basically, she's saying that her, her kids are going to be homeless and they're going to be on the street. So I'm like, I'll do it for the kids. Okay, but moving her belongings is not doing something for the kids. What is the, what, I, I don't get how one thing connects to the other. Technically, I didn't even move the belongings. No, I mean, you need a U-Haul in order to move belongings. That has nothing to do with the children. If you the children are going to end up being homeless. In other words, the money's not for a new apartment to house the children. The money's for the U-Haul. And the U-Haul is for things, not children. And In any event, you decide that you're going to rent the U-Haul for her. Yes. Why? I'm trying to be nice. Okay. To, so to do somebody. you physically have to go do it, or you do it all online? No, I have to physically go do it. With her? Um, we went there together, yeah. Okay. And so according to, in your head, how much were you going to lay it out? I didn't have no credit card. I was just using my ID. She had cash. <sighs> So you were allowing it to be rented under your name. Right. Because she doesn't even have a driver's license. I asked you that. She said that she had one, but talking about she's waiting for the come to the mail. So you weren't even going to loan her the money for the U-Haul? No. So what she was asking you to do, why would someone who has a license need you to show your license? Clearly she has no... Why would you risk your license? Why would you do this? Try to be nice. Really? Or yeah. was she paying you to do it? Trying to be nice. Were you paying him to do it? I did pay him. How much did you pay him? I paid him $30. Did she pay you $30 for your troubles? No, I'm getting no $30 for my troubles. She said that she's going to give me $30, <laughs> but no. Okay, so she pays cash at the moment. It's taken out this U-Haul. How big is a U-Haul? It was a small one. It was a small Which one? one? The 10-footer. The 10-footer. The 10-footer. Yeah, it was a small okay. one. Yeah, I have experience with U-Hauls. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's under your name. No one puts a credit card down. So you bought That's insurance? That's not true. I put my credit card you down. You put your credit card down. Okay. So now two days pass. She was supposed to have it for how long? Just one day. She was supposed to have it overnight. Okay. And then you send her a text and say, did you return the U-Haul? Yeah, because they kept emailing me. And what were they people. emailing you? They're saying that the truck never been back and I own And uh, when do they start emailing you? I um, like... Two days, a day after that? Okay. So you say to her, hey, what's going on with the truck? And what does she say? She said that she's in the meeting. And that when she get out of her meeting or her appointment, that she's going to get back to me, which she ain't never got back to me. Okay. But at some point, doesn't she tell you I returned it? She says she returned it. Yeah, she says that. Yeah, but and she says she returned it on what day? What day does she say I returned it? it That's post, the next it day? Post, yeah, post been on the next day, yes. Okay. Do you have the text in your phone? Yes. May I see it? Can I ask you a question? Yes, ma'am. Do you text him you returned it when you hadn't? Yes. So you lied to him and told him you returned the truck? Yes. 
Why did you do that? I don't know, ma'am. You do know, because all your stuff was in the truck and you were using it as a storage room. You, you didn't know, take I that furniture anywhere. A, uh, Where were you supposedly gonna take that furniture to? No, I was taking it out of the, the U-Haul, putting it in my house. Why, so why did the police tow your U-Haul? That's what we trying, I'm trying to understand. No, 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 no. I'm sure, can I explain? Yeah. <laughs> the U-Haul was on one side of the street that morning. What that, morning? On the 20, it was on the 20. The same day you rented yes. it or the next day or the next day after that the or the next day after that? After that. The How many day days after. after you rented it did it get towed? On the 20th. How many days after oh, you rented it? When so did you rent it? Three days after that. How many? Three days after that. But three I days after. Everything. You were supposed to return it the but same day. So you were it. using it as storage. But what, I were you just really it. slow at moving your stuff out of the, the U-Haul? I, I, yeah. But I paid for all that. So well, I don't even know what you mean by I paid for I all that. I paid for the, the U-Haul for using it them days. Okay. When did you, how did you pay it? Where did you pay it? Through my card. How is U-Haul charging you? Where is U-Haul charging car. you if her card was put down there? Because um, the U-Haul ain't never been returned. They they ticket the truck. They they, they want no they key. They ticketed it. No and, gas. No right. Nothing. And, 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 and there were all car. these charges that came up. Did you pay all of those charges to U-Haul? No, they're taking it off of my card. I worked something out with them. Okay. May I see what you worked out with them? I need proof that you have worked all that out. I don't have proof. I just have that they're trying to take it off my car. Oh, show me any proof you have. I mean, this is what the you're being sued for. We're not, we're not Hold on a second. Go ahead. Here's my cash app. You what was the arrangement you worked out with them? That I'll pay it when my taxes come. So you're going to so show me a cash app where you did what? They're still trying to take it from me. Wait, are they trying to and you're stopping them from doing it? Or are have I don't they... have it, but they have to still keep on transacting the card until the money comes on. I don't know what you're saying. They're still, is this a debit card or a yeah, credit card? Yes, a debit card. Oh. So they still okay. have to... So they just keep stabbing at getting the money that you owe them, and you keep not putting enough money in your debit card so that they can't get it? No, because it's, I don't have it right now. Okay, so you've paid them zero. Why do you say that you've paid them? I paid them for the days I had the truck. Proof to me that you've paid them anything after... This car got towed. Welcome back to the People's Court. The plaintiff rented a U-Haul for the defendant. The defendant didn't return it, and the plaintiff got stuck with a big bill. Now, the defendant says it got stolen, and she paid U-Haul. But they're now coming after the plaintiff for payments. Will proof of payment be a problem for the defendant? Let's go back into the courtroom. You paid one day. You paid one day, and it I was three days two. later. I paid for two. Okay. Well, then on the third day, you still haven't returned no, it. Because the third Will day, they told the truck. Will you please explain to me if you work something out with them and they're going after you for it, why does he feel they're going after him? They're not going after him. What, what, do, can coming. I ask you a question? Do you think that U-Haul, if the rental is in his name, is not going to go after him? What is wrong with you? Why would you think that? It's one ticket they got, and the toll was illegal. Pay the ticket. Told. He paid the toll. I don't, the ticket. He did. Yes. I it was only fifty dollars. You paid the ticket. Yes. How much was the ticket? Fifty dollars. Okay. Can I see proof that you paid it? Sure. That's it. What was the day that um, you guys went to U-Haul and she rented the U-Haul? The sixteenth. Sixteenth. This got ticketed on the twenty-first. That's five days later. And then when I tried to talk to her, I guess she blocked me on Facebook, and then. Some guy who she was, I don't know who, her friend or whatever, he was like, excuse my language, but he said, you lucky I ain't burn the b or throw it off a damn cliff. He never said that. Burn the what? The U-Haul? Yes, or throw it off a cliff. That's this'll what the guy, teach you. That's what right? the guy told this'll me. This'll teach you for 30 bucks? That's what the guy told that, me. This'll teach you, right? So here we go. Five days later, you get a ticket. So yes. the tow has to happen more than five days later. You're no, just using it as your no, personal storage. The tow happened the same day. Show me what U-Haul is, go is going after you for. The ticket, the tow happened the same day. Stop talking. This everything right there. All the fees and all the fines that they hit me with. Lost key charge, fuel, sales items. What does that mean? There's $251. What are those items? Did you go ahead? Who's no, the gentleman? Who's the, this the is my fellow? Son. Okay. No. I don't know. What did he just hand you? Let me see. The U Haul contract. Yeah, let me see. 
How many kids do you have? Three. How old is this one? 14. How old are the others? 11 and five. You gotta get your act together, honey. My act is together. I wouldn't even try to- <laughs> Your act is here. together? Yeah. Why were you leaving the place you were leaving? Because it was, I got my section eight, it was time for me to move, because my house wasn't approved. The one you were living in wasn't approved. So mm -hmm. did section eight help you to get a different house? No, I have to find it myself. Did you try looking for it before you left the first one? Yes, that's what you have. They give you uh, two or three months to find your own. And in two or three months you couldn't find one? No, that they would be paying for? No, you have to have a stitchy because you have to have all these requirements and... Do you have any evidence of coming to any agreement with U-Haul? No. Do you have any evidence that you have paid anything to U-Haul? No, I haven't paid nothing yet. You haven't, right? No. All right, according to this U-Haul documentation, what is still owed on this fiasco is $829.05, okay? I am ordering you to pay U-Haul directly the $829.05. That is my verdict. I am entering a judgment against you for that amount, and I gotta tell you something. The I feel so bad that your 14-year-old has to watch how you don't have your life in order. So don't tell me you have your life in order, because when you borrow the guy's license to rent the thing for two days, and it's six days later when you're still getting tickets and your stuff is still in there, you don't have your life in order. Oh, and by the way, me. you also owe him, in addition to that, the other $50 for the tickets you got. So that's $879.05, plus, of course, your court costs. Verdict for the plaintiff. And in case this comes as any surprise, on your counterclaim, because you're upset that he actually no, told people the truth about what happened on That's Facebook. You don't get defamation <laughs> charges for that. that I find true. against you on your counterclaim. It wasn't the truth. So the plaintiff prevails. Ms. Williams, the defendant, is on her way out of the courtroom. You heard the judge. She leveled a judgment against you of $879. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. 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 You kept saying no to the judge. No, Everything she it said. it wasn't the truth. She well, didn't let me truth? put the truth out there. How come? You didn't tell the truth in court? No, he didn't tell the truth, but it's okay. She didn't let me talk, so how can yes, I? Yes, she talk? did. You just didn't answer. No. Thank you very All much. Right, yeah, All right. <laughs> All right, Mr. Young. Plaintiff is on his way out of the courtroom. You know, I think you've learned a valuable lesson out of this. Yes, I did. Never want to go out for nobody. That's what I learned. I won't do it again. Promise. It's not going to happen. Well, this you, is crazy. It is crazy. Absolutely. If you've learned that, you've learned a good lesson. Yes, okay. I have a valuable lesson. Okay. <laughs> a valuable lesson. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. You must sign a few documents on your way out of the courtroom. Harvey? Doug, we've talked about it before. Cell phones, car rentals, don't put your name on it for other people. It will end up like this.